annual shoe drive kicking off in Kamloops on March 24th, which is next week. Joining me is the organizer, Jennifer Jones. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thanks for having us. Yes, and uh, one of the schools taking part in the shoe drive is Haldane Elementary out in Chase. And we have Gianna joining us today from grade six. Thank you for being here. Thank you. How's spring break going so far? Wonderful. Good. Good. And last but not least, Andy Philpott, retired firefighter. You just got back from Nicaragua a few days ago. Yes. Um, we were down there from the 21st until the 9th. Fantastic. Um, I have to just say, we were talking about this during the commercial break. Andy was down there to help reassemble a playground that many of us played on as children in this town. The former playground at Prince Charles Park. There's a new one there. It's lovely. But the old one is now going to be in Nicaragua. Yeah, and it was supposed to be down and assembled. Um, and we had a few customer issues with our container. And mm -hmm. it still sitting in the port. Um, we're dressing. So it means we'll have to be going back down there again uh, sometime sooner than later. The good news is it's on its way. And yes. And that's pretty cool. It's actually in Nicaragua. Awesome. It's just waiting to get out yeah. of the customs area. And it's only about... 50 kilometers from where it needs to be. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's good. Another excuse to go down and do more good work, right? Yeah. Uh, but we're here today to talk about the third annual shoe drive. And I know that to date, uh, 15,000 pairs of shoes have been collected for adults and children who need them in Nicaragua. So tell me a little bit, Jennifer, about why we're doing this again. Um, I think we just want to keep the ball rolling and students and staff in the district last year and the year before did such an amazing job. I think that we'll just, we'll do one more year and see what other shoes we've got kicking around in Kamloops. The, the beauty is there'll always be people in need uh, in Central America that can benefit from them and there'll all be, always be shoes here that I think we don't want in our own landfill that can go to better use. I know, the truth is we all could look around our houses and see that we have several pairs of shoes that are collecting dust, that still have good wear that can be used, and that they would be gladly worn by people in other countries. Absolutely. So we need to think about that. So bring in the six schools, and that's where you come in, Gianna. Haldane Elementary, signing on again this year. You guys did it last year. Uh, yes. You're going to take part. Tell me, tell me about the part that you're playing in all of this. Well, I can really, like I did last year, help them tape the shoes and get them ready to go down to the children that need them to for school. Because down there, you need shoes to go to school. If you don't have shoes, then you can't go to school. So you get those and you can progress in life by like going to school with the shoes and you could maybe become something big just by those pair of shoes. I know, that's the truth. We don't think about it, but we have shoes to put on every day to go to school. It's amazing that thousands of children down there don't have something that simple. So you're going to collect some of your own shoes. Are you guys going to go through the, the community and, and collect? Yes. Yeah. I want to get everyone's attention about it to try and help other people. Good for you. That's excellent. And so the key is we have some pictures from years previous. Uh, great <laughs> pictures here, Jennifer. Yeah, those are some students from Juniper, I believe, Juniper Ridge Elementary. Um, just encouraging people to uh, donate. These are some pictures from us. A big steel box, actually. It's a lot of sorting that goes on. There's a bunch of our volunteers. We just had some fun one day when we were sorting shoes. And um, big steel box holds onto the shoes for us while we count them and keep a collection and uh, sort them into men's, women's, and children's shoes as well. Fantastic. I know this yeah. goes on, it starts next week, but it goes through until the 16th of April. And for people who aren't necessarily associated with the school, they can take their uh, shoes to the Big Steel Box location, which is... Uh, um, 1370 Salish Road. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. Awesome. So people can definitely donate regardless of what schools are involved. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Just drop by anytime time on 1370 Salish Road, Big Steel Box, uh, between 8.30 and 4.30, and they'll kind of show you where to just drop them off, and you can leave them there. Firefighters are the ones that end up delivering them. Andy Philpot, you come in there. So w <clears throat> once they, they, they're at Big Steel Box, they come over to the warehouse and we sort, sort them into like work boots and men's boots, children's, uh, children's boots and, and ladies. And then they're boxed up, put into our containers. And then once they hit, uh, we get them down to Nicaragua. We work with the, uh, the bomberos or the firefighters throughout Nicaragua and they do a fantastic job where if we went into El Limino, which is the, the shanty town or the village at the dump, uh, we'd have to go in there with guards to do a distribution just because it would just be such mass confusion. They go in and they do an assessment by family by family to find it and get the need. 
then they go get the shoes and they bring the families in a family okay. at a time so they can distribute it over a period of time. Wow. And I think that's the key too is that that's why I decided to go with Operation Nicaragua. We're not simply collecting shoes and just kind of tossing them at Nicaragua. They're ensuring that they go to families and children that don't have the means to go and purchase shoes. So we're very careful about, you know, not taking away from, um, you know, businesses there. They're definitely, these guys ensure that they go to people that will not have the means to yeah. go and get the shoes otherwise. Fantastic. Yeah. And we have, uh, on the previous trip, we were distributing shoes at some of the schools. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that some of the kids at the schools were trying on shoes. And I was watching one girl, and she was trying on shoes, obviously trying a pair on that were too small for her. But then she disappeared and came back five minutes later. And then she tried on a second pair of shoes that were fit. And what she was doing is she was trying on a pair of shoes, and she goes, okay, I know my sister or my brother's or feet are about right. this size. Okay, got a pair of shoes, actually went home. So they were, instead of, they were, each child was allowed two pairs of shoes, mm -hmm. and they were taking one pair of shoes for herself and another one for a sibling. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how the kids actually look after each other. Uh, you, see it, you see it in the dump, you see it in the schools. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, you guys. We are out of time. Uh, really glad to give this some exposure. It's a fantastic cause, and it's making a huge difference a world away, certainly. Gianna, congratulations for getting involved in this. I think it's amazing that you're doing this. Thank you. Yeah, hope you guys collect lots of shoes. You'll have to let us know how it goes, Jennifer. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Okay. If you'd like more information, uh, information is on the screen. You can also get in touch with Jennifer via her email, which is right there for you. Again, this starts next week and goes through until April 16th. Big Steel Box getting on board right from the beginning. You can drop off your shoes right at their location on Salish Road. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.